Hello and welcome Hello. to the Legit Cross server. I'm here with this guy. Me. I'm that guy. Hi, I'm Mark. The guy. That guy. This guy. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a world tour. So this is the spawn of the server. Um, when you log in for the first time, this is where you're, you'll get in. Um, there's a few basic things around here, such as some food here, from the chicken cooker that Mark made with all his taste in, in special blocks. Yeah, I like to be fancy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is based on the design by Jiswami, or what we might call him. And I modified it slightly, but honors of food there, there. Yeah. Um. Um. This is some of the basic stuffs that we have. We have an iron farm, not a big one, but enough to provide quite a bit of iron. Um. Yeah, these are just some basic stuff that probably will get replaced as well. And it's free to take. Yeah, this is just community overflow for yeah, just for general purposes. Um, this is uh, this is my guy. Uh, oh, this guy. is this is little oh. Jimmy, my homie. Uh, it does have a name tag on him, but it's like impossible to see. Oh, no, it's Jimmy. Yeah. Uh. When we just started the server, it was when Baby Zombie just came out and I captured them on like the second day of the server. Then, within like the third day, he had full diamond armor. When the rest of us didn't sword. even have any any diamond tools, this uh, thing was decked out completely. Because I'm a pimp. Uh, <laughs> Over uh, here. <laughs> uh, hmm? Over here? Yeah, um, we'll do quickly this, do the. This is my area. I've yeah. not moved out of spawn. I just stayed around. Just this is my <laughs> this is my temporary little hut. And over there, I've got a big project, which is a multi-level tree farm and a big giant building that everybody hates. Well, I don't know if everyone hates it, but. A lot of, a lot of people hate it. <laughs> Apparently, I shouldn't have built it on the ocean. I don't know why. But it, it looks so natural. <laughs> I'm going to build an island for it. Uh, so yeah, he was trying to find some use for this monstrosity. So I um, stuck a tree farm on it. Pretty much. Yeah. And if you think this is a huge ass tree farm, it's actually there's a layer for each kind of tree in the game. Exactly. So birch. This would be the um, oak tree oh. for outside. This would be uh, spruce. If you look the floors and color coded to whatever wood is on the floor. So as you see, it's the orange planks with the acacia leaves and acacia logs underneath. And a H2 beacon as well. Yeah. So if you need wood, Mark will give you wood. So this desert is where we put a bunch of farms and some uh, some random stuff, such as a uh, a horse speed meter thing. What do you call this? I don't know. Race track, <laughs> track, track race track. It's to see how fast your horses are. Um, these are I some of the fastest donkeys that we've been able to breed. That's an automatic wood farm. There's a squid farm. There's a uh, what are those? Sugarcane farm. Sugarcane field. There's some chocolate here. Some vines. So that'll probably get replaced in a bit because, well, someone placed it right in the middle of of this thing. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, it wasn't like it was here first or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so when we go into the spawn town itself, um, on the right here is a... Well, first is the slime farm. Well, where the slime farm comes out. 
<laughs> There's even some slimes coming up right now. Amazing. I've never seen this before. So this is a community <laughs> slime farm. Um, we'll have to replace that for 1.8, but for now it works fine. This is a automatic um, a wheat farm, though that'll probably get automated as well with the new villager AI, but it's, yeah, it's a highly space efficient and fast to replant. But yeah, do we have to show that all of that? No, I just wanted it to work on your face. Um, Over down, this way? Yeah. <laughs> this way, <laughs> this is, is the memorial and um, temple Rest to, in peace, Neil. <laughs> to our old uh, le fearless leader, but sadly... Uh, he got a life. Not, yeah. <laughs> sadly he got a life, so we don't see him very much anymore. I still speak to him like every day, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are just some temporary farms for when we just started up as well. Yeah, like so this pumpkins and stuff. This spawn area, we're pretty much going with a, a with an Asian theme, but because we have some temporary things still from when we just started on here, it's it's a working project, uh, a working progress. Uh, down here we come to the main uh, nether portal building. So, those are the nether portals. Um, we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, on this side there's a community enchanting table set up. I think this is semi-temporary, though it's... Nothing really else to put on this bit of island. Unless, have we found a better reason to yeah, find yeah, a exactly. better thing like, to put here below? We're, we're still working on this area, but like we, at least we like, um, we want to have some of this thing looking at least good enough to, to not to stand out, just like a sort of thumb. Um, yeah. yeah, so down this side we have our brewery. Brewery. Very well done, by the way. Like, help hey, us. Potion <laughs> lab thing. Um, of course, all this is not really necessary, but it, it's good. It's nice to make these things at least look good. And in here we have a horse. Hello. Um, and yeah, so we have most of the potions here, and you can just press the button, and it will cook up a batch in here. I really like these blast furnace looking things. Mm. Well done, Bike. <laughs> Suck up. Um, yes, yeah, so that's most of the main spawn buildings. We have some temporary farms over here as well. Um, yeah, so there's a cow farm here. And in the back there's a sheep farm. And over here we started on a natural looking um, wheat farm. But yeah, probably this will change as well. Um, since this map was started after the horses were introduced, we also have, for some of the bases, we actually have paths that lead overland to the different bases. But nowadays we usually still just use the, the nether hub. So this is our nether hub system. Um, we don't have one big nether hub where every person has one little tunnel. We actually went with a different system this time. Uh, in that we have four main branches. North, east, west, south. Yeah. Which yeah. are <laughs> coded with the redstone block, and quartz, ice, and the melon. But like people have their own uh, tunnels that lead off from these uh, side tunnels. So we, this is this was done mostly because um, on the old map we we came a lot of the time like half the tunnels weren't really really finished or were leading to things that weren't working, and this just makes it a lot neater because the the main area is all perfectly finished while 
Um, yeah, while people can still build their own tunnels without having to worry about interfering with other people's tunnels. Yeah, it causes a lot less, like, you're about to make your tunnel go this way, but there's, like, a tunnel cutting across and stuff. It causes, it cuts down a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Um, I've actually been working on a, on a, t uh, train station? On a train station as well, so, um, uh, this is mostly just for, um, uh, what are you called? Minecarts with chests in them, chest minecarts, and just transferring large amounts of items, but that's still a work in progress, and it's a long, from, <laughs> it's a long way from being finished. Um, as you can see down here, this is uh, we are quite high up in the in the ladder. Um, there's a there's a ladder here that goes down to the well down all the way to the the, the open ladder. Um, we also have an automatically brewing station here that automatically dispenses uh, fire resistance potions as many as you want. So down the melon tunnel. But you can also see it here, is the blaze farm, which is the first XP farm that we made. Um, we also have an enderman farm, so this is not something that we use a lot, but it's good for if you want to do some AFK farming. You just hop in a minecart and it automatically shoots you off. Okay, so this is a uh, double blaze spawner. So there's two blaze spawners here that are activated as long as you're, I think, as long as you're in this white zone. Yeah. Um, we actually use a splash potion system here, in that when you when you want to kill all of them at the same time, you just close these gates. And take potion out of here. Throw it. And just wait for them to go down. And then you throw the second potion and it kills all of them at the same time, giving you all the XP you need. And all the blaze rod sorts you got in here, as well as things that you have left over of the woods. And we also, of course, have an enchanting station and a few anvils. Just a few. Uh, of course, uh, these potions are automatically brewed with this. Uh, This brewing station. So. Okay, we have two more things to show you. In the redstone tunnel, there's the ant portal that leads to the ant farm, as well as the wither tunnel, uh, winner, wither skeleton farm. The ant portal is in this tunnel. I believe the ant uh, lost. The ant. Mm, it's probably smart, <laughs> but fine. I believe the ant to the ant. Okay, fine. Okay, that's so, way. If you follow this tunnel all the way to, well, to the end. But not Where's that? End. Yeah, I'll show you on the way back. So, all, all, at the end of the tunnel, at least for now the end, if people expand the tunnel, of course, will it'll continue on longer, but this here is the Wither Skeleton Farm. Can just fall down here. These, uh, this was actually built pretty recently, so I'm just waiting for the chiseled stone to put put in here. But I know a guy that could help you. Mm -hmm. For all of these. Yeah. I've got like nine. <laughs> wow. um, so yeah, this is the Wither Farm. Um, you can just go out here, use a a looting sword. I have my own looting sword in here. On the Withering Trick, and just wheel away at them. These are all one-hit kills. The, the Wither Skeletons. The <laughs> Well, the Wither Skeletons, Normal Skeletons, and the uh, Zombie Pigmen. And then when when the Blazes, because the Blazes, they don't take full damage when they when there's too many of them. You just press this button. 
and it starts crushing them. Yeah, you die. And then when you do that, you just press the button again and it... This is... And sometimes, like, sometimes some uh, mobs get stuck upstairs, so you just press this button and it resets the entire mob farm so it runs more smoothly. This is the most recent thing on the server, isn't it? Yeah, some stuff had spawned, but the, the most recent big thing. And, um, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see you then. <laughs> well, there's, there's actually something on the way I want to show, so... This okay. is actually an ender vator, you just press shift, you look up, these chests actually are so... Vehicles. So, you look up, you press shift, and then you just throw it. Right. And once you have the Wither Skulls, then you can go down here to the one that Mark hasn't even seen yet. Yep. I'm on here all the time, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, I only really recently put this in. Um, the tunnel itself is not even complete yet. I probably should have brought some skulls. But... So this is um, one of those areas in the Nether where you built the Wither skeleton, uh, the Wither boss up here, and you just press the lever. It pushes it into the bedrock, and you can just hit it without taking damage. <coughs> oh. Oh. For those who want to use that mechanic. Not I said to fly. And now I guess we're going to the end portal, which can be recognized by the end stone. Is this finished? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. What was it then? <laughs> well, this area here at the start is still something we can improve, but depends on what we still want to build in, in the end, but the end farm itself is, again, with a anapole elevator and nice path. So on the right here we have a um, sugarcane farm again. That's because in the next area here we have a villager trading center. So we can trade with most of these things. And we also have some semi-perfect villagers. Though this one is somehow ruined by someone. This one is still... This one is still okay. But of course in 1.8 all that changes anyway. And then down here is the actual uh, end farm. With the uh, chanting table. Uh, if you're actually looking for more ender pearls, the storage is down here. And everything that gets tossed in there that isn't ender pearls ends up here. So you don't, if you accidentally throw something away. <laughs> I think that pretty much concludes the circle too, right? <laughs> well, if you're yeah. really, really lucky, maybe uh, Mark will do a tour of his own. Uh, Stuff probably pretty much saw everything you've built, right? <laughs> yeah. 
and maybe I'll do a tour of my stuff. But that's for a later date. Right, big, we can't end it like that. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm back at spawn here. You want to show something on spawn at spawn here? I think I think we should block the skull. <laughs> yeah, Mark is not a big fan of this skull here. Neil started it, and I kind of feel bad about destroying it, but it's also not finished. So, I guess if someone wants to come on and actually has some talent, he might be able to finish it and make it look good. But yeah, are you are you looking at it right now? I am, yeah. Because I might not have stuff on there. No, don't blow it up. <laughs> don't blow it up. That's against the rules, rule. Yeah, but... Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> Alright, I'll just blow up your base then. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. Um, on the other side of the... Um, of the spawn village, we'll probably start with mini games soon. Um, things like King of the Ladder, uh, a paintball tournament. Uh, yeah, Connect four. Kinds. I'm undefeated. Yeah, he's played <laughs> three rounds, so he's undefeated. Yeah. Um, Some TNT spleef. Oh yeah, spleef. Oh, you're actually invisible. You're actually floating. Right. It's good that that. Uh, Jep and Dinnerbone are so diligent in fixing all the things in the game. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, if you want to join the server, uh, there will be a link in the description to our recruitment thread. Um, we are a, an 18 plus server in that don't bother um, applying if you're not 18 years or older. Um, there are no exceptions to this, and there's no point in arguing with us about it. Uh, any more requirements? Yeah, don't be a bitch. Well, if Pretty you are a bitch, at least be amusing about it. I mean, yeah, like, can... <laughs> of course, uh, the normal rules apply. Like we, of course, no griefing, which means like. No griefing, don't touch anything within 400 blocks from people's bases. Don't build and take anything from any chest unless it says it's for community use. And no malicious PvP. It's we, Of course, we hit each other, we do pranks, we we do PvP as well, but in general, like, if you're... Not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, so if... The rule of thumb is, if they are okay with it, then it's fine. If they, they do have do... some people in the server that just like to come on and like build online and stuff and they yeah, don't exactly. like so, PvP. Like, if, if you know that they are okay with PvP, then PvP is fine, but by default, just unless they specifically say that you're allowed to do it, don't do don't start killing people. Um, Anything else? No, no. I mean, we're gonna wanna be starting a few big community builds soon. Uh, I also wanna get some help with uh, making this spawn town uh, a bit bigger, not just uh, utilitarian uh, buildings like we have now, but also some just for for the looks. Yeah, for the looks. Um, we'll probably be starting on a few mob farms, a few uh, villager farms, and all kinds of new stuff. But yeah. And of course, there's a new update coming soon. Hopefully. Yeah, so probably will be. Um, Lots of stuff happening then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Sometimes we go to the snapshots, depending on if people want to play it and how stable the snapshots are. In general, we are a pretty vanilla server, so we don't like we don't go to every single snapshot, but if there's a stable snapshot, we might switch to it if people are interested. But all this is pretty much um, just what we discuss in the community. Um, we don't really have any operators, we don't have any admins, we don't, like, uh, I think, like, officially I'm the one that does all the technical shit on the server, but that just means that I 
I'm the one that just updates the server, and makes the server, gets the backups and all that stuff, but we, we assume that because we are an 18 plus server, we don't need someone constantly looking out for helping people, just we, we are a mature community, or at least we are uh, a grown up. Uh, Which is the wrong one? <laughs> um, we are all eighteen amateur. plus, so we we assume that you can take care of yourself and don't that we don't need to constantly police everything that you do. If you have questions, we're well, happy to answer. Though we do speak yeah. outside of Minecraft. Um, we use a uh, TeamSpeak to talk to each other when when we're doing community projects, and sometimes even when we don't. When we're not playing, we might be playing in different games. So the team speak is uh, always open for people to come and join as well. Um, for more, for more uh, official communication or for just keeping up to date with what's going on in the server, we also use a mailing list, uh, more a Google, a Google group. So that's either a mailing list or as a forum. Really, is how you use it. But um, yeah, we have a. Um, we have a overviewer map, but um, because I have to manually download backups and update it, it's not really up to date. Um, but I, I assume I'll be doing an update pretty soon on that as well. Um, am I missing something? All details will be in. The yeah, everything. Every the all every single thing that I've forgotten will probably be in the description. So hopefully we'll see some new members coming on soon. Yeah, come have some fun with. Bye. <laughs>